a cup of coffee before I go to work. Um, I usually don't do this because I normally don't want a second cup of coffee, but I know that I'm going to buy one today because I just feel like having a second cup of coffee. So instead of buying one, I'm just going to make another one really fast. And I say it's totally worth it to make a second cup if you're gonna feel like you're gonna want to buy a second cup of coffee. Because in that way you're in control as to what is going in your body. Um, another thing I try to do is whenever I pick out clothing, I try to have something that honors God in some way to where like everything on me is covered. It will stay covered um, and there's like no issues surrounding wardrobe malfunctions. Like the shirt, for instance, is kind of loose on the top. So I'm going to clip my badge on this outer one. So if I wear any type of shirt like this, I wear it where there's like a place like another thing to put up my like name tag and stuff so that way I, I don't I'm not dishonoring to God with my clothing it's just something to keep in mind I don't know if you do that or if you ever like if you need that help I don't know but I'm gonna brush my teeth real fast and then we're gonna leave for work hey so I'm home I took my shower I did all the things and my house is a little bit in between like wreck and not because this is all like new messes that I literally just made. <laughs> but they weren't that dirty during the moment. So what I'm gonna do is make some dinner, drink a brew, and then reorganize this whole thing because it's starting to become like a cluster of things. And I really just need to organize things and for YouTube, it's like literally just all this stuff. And so it's just a huge conglomerate of stuff and I need to really organize it. So I um, am gonna write that in a journal and I'm gonna separate it between like different sections and stuff like that and try to figure that out. Um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna organize this whole situation, put up those clean dishes, wash all the dirty ones, just put things away, you know? You know how things just get away from you? That's basically what happened. Even though I tried to clean and stay ahead of it, it's like once you become an adult, everything is dirty just by you touching it. At least that's how I feel. I don't really know, but that's just how I feel. So, I will talk to you guys probably after I make dinner. I'm going to show you a clip of my dinner and what it looks like, and then that's going to be about it for today. Um, and then we're going to clean together and yeah that's about that's about it i have to finish uploading another video and then i have to edit a video upload another video you know just the cycle of youtube life and yeah so i figured i would tell you what i'm making um i've never made this before so i'm kind of excited about it um but it's noki I called my mom and told her about it and she said it's made of potatoes and I looked it up and she's right. So it's potatoes, water, and flour. Um, and it's it looks really good and I got the pesto style kind because <laughs> sorry. Um, but I got the pesto kind uh, because it would be more fun and it was the same price as the regular one so I figured why not spice it up. And then we're going to have an old zucchini, um, tomatoes, and then onions as like a side dish. Um, but this is mainly what we're going to be having in it. 
just sounds amazing. So I'm gonna show you the finished product. I'm also gonna put it with meat and then just like pasta sauce. So we'll see if it tastes good. I have like no idea, but it just seems right. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. So a little hack I have for you guys is, you know how with ground meat, they normally have like that little tool that mashes it down and grounds it up for you. Well, a potato masher does the same thing for your ground beef. You just have to make sure that it's thaw, and then if it's not, thaw it, and then you can just smash it down just like how you would using a um, meat, whatever it's called. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's kind of like a multi-purpose tool then around your house, um, and it's also really good for using as a whisk if you don't have a whisk as well. Um, so yeah, we're almost done here, right? We have the water boiling. I've got this garlic bread. It's got garlic. Um, the white stuff is actually mayonnaise. It works really well whenever you want to um, make garlic bread or Parmesan bread or anything like that. So these are those bagels I got in my grocery haul. And um, I put garlic powder on it and then Parmesan. And I'm just gonna put them in the oven and let them cook really well. If you go to Whataburger, they sear their um, uh, buns with mayo which is why and how I got the idea to do this and it works really well with grilled cheese and anything that you would use a griddle for minus like pancakes and stuff obviously like that's not not good but um, everything else is pretty much like good to go if you want to use it for butter like instead of butter so yeah that is what the meal is looking like and I'm waiting for this water to boil and it seems like it's going to take a year and a half so hopefully it happens soon. Put a lid on it and see how that works. I got our pictures in the mail. This is from Smallwood Homes. Uh, this is gonna be a part of our wedding, but this is really good if you just want like something for your home as well. So this, um, they're having a sale. I don't know if it's still going on whenever you watch this video, but they had a sale, so I, I ordered this. I ordered two pictures. There's another one wrapped up in there. But this is one of them, and then on the lid that it comes in, so they come in like these tubes or whatever, and then on the lid, it comes with the twine to hang up. So I'm planning on putting these in our home after we are married, um, like in front of the bed, like one on one side, one on the other, and then I want this in the middle. I think that would look really, really cute, or at least my style. I don't think you would actually care, so I think that this would be great. Um, so if you're looking for something that's slightly inexpensive, they might be having a sale, and if you're getting married, look into it um, and just keep an eye out for their sales if you have a full year to plan if you don't still look at them and see if they can find you can find something affordable I believe this is the largest um, one and it's 24 by or it's 24 by I don't really remember to be honest with you maybe 24 by 16 I don't know um, but anyways 
it's one of the largest ones that they have. And I am in love with those pictures. They are adorable. Apparently you're supposed to cook gnocchi for nine minutes once it reaches a boil, but it hasn't started boiling since then. I don't know. Um, I switched to a spatula after I used um, the potato masher because, yeah, so after I used the potato masher, I switched to a um, spatula because that's what I have and it works really well. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm about to add the potato, and potato, oh my gosh. I'm about to add the um, pasta sauce and yeah. That's basically what's going on right now. Nothing too fun or too fancy or anything. Also, you might be wondering, how come I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing at the beginning of this video? And that's because these are my pajamas and I wear them two to three days in a row, which might sound gross to some people, but it's just what I do. So, yeah. And after I take my shower, I generally change into some pajamas. Okie dokie. So I think that's good. Waiting on my gnocchi to boil. Is it even gnocchi or how do you say it? I believe it's gnocchi. It's literally on the highest it will go and nothing is happening, so. Also, this is the great value pasta sauce that I get. It's just the traditional. It's relatively inexpensive and it does the same job as any other pasta sauce would, so I go with it. Also, I don't know the difference between pizza and pasta sauce. They taste the exact same to me. I know that they're different, but the ingredients are basically the same. So, I'm confused. A little bit confused. Also, look how cute she is. Where'd, she, where'd your thing go? I got the, her this ball whenever she was like a kitten, and it was from like Dollar, Dollar Tree. Best gift I've ever given her. It is like a scratch pad kind of thing. And it's from the Dollar Tree. It's all chewed up now. Um, or scratched up rather. But get stuff from the Dollar Tree like this. Because they mess it up anyways. And she still loves it. To this day. So I inadvertently basically made goulash. Just with gnocchi instead of regular pasta. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, it's just how it happened, and it's really good. I recommend the pesto gnocchi, because I basically just put the pesto sauce in here, and not pesto sauce, but the pesto seasoning with everything inside, and it tastes heavenly. And then now I'm just going to take this and stick it in the oven, and then that should be done for this meal. This stuff is so good, you have to try this recipe, okay? It's one pound ground beef, or ground chicken, or ground whatever that you want to ground, that you have ground meat of. One zucchini, one Roman tomato, a couple cherry tomatoes, um, and that's it. And then like, oh, onion and garlic, half onion, one garlic clove, chopped it up, put it in here. Add no seasonings or anything, just like let it cook in here. Then make your gnocchi, put the pasta sauce in here, mix it in. Once your gnocchi's done, drain it, put it back in the pot, mix it in with everything else. You're good to go. This is basically just bread. It's got, um, as I said, all that stuff on it, and I'm just going to stick it in the oven and let it do its thing. And then dinner is served. Probably shouldn't have it that high. There we go. Hey guys. So I'm done cleaning my kitchen. And now I'm basically just going to read, organize my life, finish uploading that video, probably edit another one because I'm backed up on editing per usual. Like YouTuber is not. And... Yeah, that's basically what I have for the rest of today. Um, the books that I'm currently reading, it's two, so just hang in there. Um, it's The Truth About Leadership. 
Um, I'm reading that one. I just finished that other book, um, and it was like Perfectly Yourself or Becoming Perfectly Yourself or something like that. Um, anyways, and this is the next one that I want to read. And then the next one that I'm going to be reading is the Immune Power Cookbook. I just want to read and flip through it. I don't know if it's like a reading type book or just like a flip through type book. So I'll just figure that out whenever it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish uploading that video. It's been uploading pretty much all day, so it should be good. Um, and then I'm just going to post it, schedule it, and then work on another one probably. Either tonight or tomorrow morning. So we will see. Tomorrow's going to be a busy, busy, busy day. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I am going to insert a little bitty clip at the end of this. Um, so just stay tuned for that. Hey guys, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys today in this video before we pray is um, what I do with my hair, my affordable hair care. Um, I talk about my skincare in my previous videos and a lot of you guys will then, what do you do with your hair? Um, and you had questions with that so I figured I would just include it in this day in the life. I know it doesn't really like go <laughs> with like a theme but um yeah, we're just going to share it because you guys asked, so I figured that this would be great um, to include. I never really thought about it, and, and so I'm really grateful for you guys for thinking of that and reminding me, so we're going to go over it right now. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is that my hair is curly. <coughs> it fluctuates um, sometimes into like waves as well, but for the most part, it's super curly. Well, I wouldn't say like super curly, but it's it's curly. Um, and most of the shampoos that are either cheaper or um, on the inexpensive route are generally not very great for curly hair. Um, not even like the normal nice hair care products. So I've used really like high-end ones at a salon and I've used ones that were um, drugstore kind of I guess you could call it. And I have liked both. Um, I'm not one side or the other. Um, I used to have, whenever I got my hair done, um, I went to this one guy and he gave me this specific shampoo that would work really great for my blonde hair because I had super blonde hair at the time. Um, and he gave me that and that worked really well for blonde hair. So I do think it matters as to if your hair colored, if you get it, um, if it's curly, if it's straight, if it's wavy, like it all kind of like matters with your hair. Um, mine is, hasn't been colored in about a year, I would say probably a little bit longer, and so I don't really need the purple shampoo anymore because I used to use a purple shampoo for my hair, um, and I lost a lot of the curls whenever I had the blonde hair. I lost pretty much, I think, almost all my curls, I think. And then they came back when I started using that shampoo that he recommended to me. Um, they started coming back, but they weren't near like what it is like right now that you're seeing. Um, and again, mine mine isn't like super curly, but it's it's still like curly. It's just more like as if I curled it kind of situation. So, anyways, um, without further ado, let's get into this hair care video. Um, I use the curly girl method. Um, I don't know if you know a lot about that. If you don't, I will suggest that you guys go and research it on your own. Um, they have a lot. I use Pinterest a lot. I know they have a lot of videos on YouTube, but I never watched any personally, so I don't, I'm not going to recommend any videos because I don't know about any of them. Um, I use Pinterest a lot. And I do have a lot of pins uh, concerning the Curly Girl Method underneath my beauty um, pin, or not my pin, my board. So if you guys want to go check that out, I have all of the ones that I used and they are all pinned. So please go check it out on the beauty board. Um, all of my Pinterest stuff and everything is always linked down below, so please go check that out. Um, but anyways, so the, the one brand that I have tried and liked and used and has done wonders for my hair... Um, is the Cantu brand. It is the only brand that I use on my hair now. Hair now. Um, I use the Natural Hair Sulfate Free Hydrating Cream Conditioner. And then I also use the 
cleansing cream shampoo. Um, I'm going to read the back of it, see like, it says cleans, deeply cleans hair and scalp, allowing hair to grow while the unique sulfate free formula helps reduce breakage. It is made with pure shea butter and can restore your authentic beauty. Embrace your curly, oi curly, coily, or wavy hair with Cantu. Um, it has no mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicones, um, Phyllis, phyllates, um, paraben, or propylene glycol, glycol, um, and I don't, it does have fragrance in it, so if that affects you, um, just keep that in mind, it does have fragrance. Um, eventually, I want to have one that doesn't have fragrance, but this has done such good to my, like, such good stuff to my hair, that I don't know if I'm ever going to change. Is that fine? I don't know. Um, and then I also use the mask. So yeah, the natural hair mask. It restores, strengthens damaged hair. Um, it has all the things in it that I love. Um, so what I will do normally is I will wet my hair um, on the days that I do the mask. I do the mask once a week. Um, I just like it because it's kind of like a pampering type thing for me. So I'll wet my hair and then I will take, I'll open this up. This also lasts for a really long time, by the way. I've had this for like months and it smells like coconuts. It's probably the fragrance of coconuts. Anyways, it's made in the U.S. too. So anywho, um, I take like, I like put my hand in there and it's about like a, probably a little bit more than a quarter size. Basically whatever it takes to like coat my whole entire hair. Um, and it also has directions on it, so just follow the directions. That's basically what I did. Um, and then I let it sit in there um, while I shave my legs, wash my body, do all the things like that, wash my face. And then I rinse it out, and then I go in with the shampoo, and I obviously like wash my hair. And then after that, I take the conditioner, and I just put it on the ends, right? Like I just go from like here down of conditioner after I use the mask because otherwise my hair will get super greasy and oily so from here down I just use the conditioner after I use the mask um, on a normal day-to-day -day basis I normally wash my hair once a week um, which sounds kind of gross but that's how my hair thrives um, but during like COVID and different things like that and with my job, I, um, had to wash it every single day. We're still in like quarantine and stuff like that, but I wear a hairnet, um, and so I don't really touch my hair ever, so I don't wash it as often as that. Um, and then this I use every single day or every other day. Let me rephrase that. Every other day. So I'll just take a tiny, tiny, like penny size on my hand, like tiny, and I'll put some water on it and I'll rub it on my hands and then I'll just kind of like go through it with my hair. And what that does for me is it allows no tangles in my hair. Um, it helps me kind of like get rid of the tangles. So every other day I will put this on the very tips. I would say from like here down of my hair. Um, I will put that on the bottoms and it will allow me to not have any, any knots, which I'm very impressed with. Also, I use a wet brush. If you have curly hair and you have never used a wet brush, you need to buy one. It is revolutionary. It will, it's amazing and it does not break your hair. So yeah, that's basically what I do with my hair. <sighs> nothing too fancy, nothing too hard. That's basically what I do. I normally don't really curl my hair. If I curl my hair, I use a heat protectant. Um, I use Redkins for a while. And then I switch to an argan oil one. Um, I posted about it on my um, Honestly Be Well Instagram. So go check that out for any type of products that I used. Um, 
and I posted it on that so please go check that out but that's what I use um, to protect my hair and then just like curl it but I don't normally straighten it because it, it, it they won't say straight so I normally just kind of skip that portion of it <laughs> and I normally just curl it if I'm trying to get all fancy and dressed up so um, yeah that's basically what I do if you guys have any questions uh, please feel free to DM me or leave a comment if the comments are not turned off or email me or you know just get a hold of me um other than that i just wanted to pray with you guys so if you will bow your heads do the sign of the cross with me whatever you feel comfortable and led to do uh let's do it in the name of the father son holy spirit amen lord i thank you so much for bringing them here to this corner of my, the interweb i am so 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 thankful that um these videos bless them or if they do that they bless them um lord i ask that you use me and them as a vessel for you and that you are seen and not us um lord i ask that you change us from the inside out and that you help us to grow and help us to learn and to cherish one another in this world i also ask that you teach us how to guard our hearts appropriately and do that with christianity in mind and with your love in mind and i ask that in the mundane that they feel your presence and that they know you're there and that you can sustain them throughout the day even if they don't want to finish the day. Lord, I ask that you help them to grow and to love one another and to feel the gift of the Holy Spirit within them and within their souls. Amen. I thank you so much, guys, for coming back to my channel, and I will see you in another video.